A while ago, we had the eruption of the Iwo Jima volcano. That is the newest and youngest volcano in the world, formed in the Pacific Ocean near the island of Iwo Jima. In the course of one day, we had an island appearing from under the water, and as the water was in contact with the lava, it was expanding and exploding, creating these eruptions that we see here. This is a, a style of eruption we call phreatic. Means the water is the responsible for the explosion. Expansion of the water creates the steam, and the steam shatters the lava, make it pulverized into powder, and it scatters it as ash all over the place. This is continuing because the waves are coming to this volcano. And now we have a cone or a crater formed around this volcano. The size of the volcano has, uh, is grown to 200 meters. The height of this crater now is around 40 meters and growing. As you can see, if you look carefully, you can actually see the red glow of the lava when it is erupting and coming to in contact with the water. We can see in a clear image the actual crater as it grows, every hour is growing bigger. And as with that, the island also is growing, adding mass and the area to the Japanese islands. This is the Iwo Jima. You can see the area strip. In one corner of it at the tip, you can see an old volcano there. It is not active, this volcano. But when it was active, it had such a history, fascinating history. Again, similar to what we see now here happened in the past. We have not been witnessing this creation, but now we are lucky we are seeing this creation of, the, of a volcano in the middle of the uh, you know, water near this Iwo Jima in the Indo-Pacific uh, Ring of Fire.